In this video, we are going to explain you step by step how to configure the camera trainer. The camera trainer configuration can be accessed using the configuration manager software. Always make sure that your software is up to date. Under My Devices tab, select the camera you want to configure. Click on the VCA tab and then navigate to the Camera Trainer tab. This is the main page of the Camera Trainer. The first configuration step is to set up the region of interest. By default, the region of interest covers the complete screen. After defining the region of interest, click on the Edit Sample button so we can start adding samples. Click with the mouse inside the image to set the positive sample field. To increase the sample size, hold the left mouse button and select the desired sample size. Please take note that the sample size can be defined only for the first sample and it cannot be modified unless you reset the detector configuration. Creating a negative sample can be done by setting up a positive sample and then double-clicking on it. Another option would be to create a positive sample and then to right-click on it and choose Convert. By clicking on the Learn button, the samples are being taken in use. By clicking the Add Negatives button, we let the camera trainer to propose negative samples. In case the negative samples proposed are incorrect, they can be manually edited. When clicking on Condense, the samples that are the same or very similar will be removed. Click the Save button to save the latest changes in the camera memory. In the meantime, we added two additional cars in the image, but this change will not be available in the image pane because during the configuration the image is frozen. To start the live view from the camera, click on the Play button. We can immediately see that all the cars are detected by Detector 1. When the live view is paused, we can see that the new cars are also surrounded by the green rectangles. In case an object is not detected, mark it as positive sample and repeat the test. The detector name can be changed. Double-click inside the detector title box, type in the name you want to use and click on the Save button. Learn more about our products by accessing our Bosch Security and Safety Academy at www.boschsecurity.com.